hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video today i'm gonna show you i'm gonna share with you how to make this delicious zobo drink so stay tuned to the end of this video and i'll take you step by step as you can make this zobo it is very simple to make you can make it yourself at home okay so make sure you watch to the end and if you like it at the end of the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this video and subscribe for more healthy recipes thank you mm. So for this recipe, I am using 60 ounces of this hibiscus flour, dried hibiscus flour. They call it sorrel too. So, and also I'm gonna use one sweet ripe uh, pineapple for this recipe. I'll equally use a ginger, a piece of ginger, and this sweet orange. Now you can increase the amount of your ginger if you want it to be more okay so i poured my dried hibiscus flour into my big container so that i can wash it so i'm just going to add some water and i'm going to wash this and drain it out into that white strainer that you've seen by my left side then i will repeat this process about three times so that i make sure that my uh, hibiscus flour is clean i do it about three times and then i'll put it in my pots ready to be cooked so here i am cutting the back of my pineapple yes in this recipe you need the back of the pineapple you are not going to throw it away okay <laughs> so yes i um, will need all the parts of the pineapple it is going to be useful okay both the back and the pineapple itself so as you can see i am cutting the back of the pineapple because i'm going to need it for for this uh, recipe and I'm I'm going to pour the back of this pineapple into my uh, washed hibiscus leaves pour it into my pots okay so here I am pouring my uh, putting my the back of the pineapple into my pot and I'm going to cut the orange into chunks like this and I'm put, put, putting it into my pot like you've seen me do so yes take your time and do it So after cutting your pineapple, you want to put it in your blender and add your ginger like this. Add some water, just a little bit of water to help the blending process. And you go ahead and cover your blender and then you blend your, blend your pineapple to turn it into a juice because we're going to pour it into that same pot. So you can observe that I changed my pot. I had to use a more uh, bigger pot so that I can give me space. I'm adding some water to this pot so that it can help cook and form the drink that we that we want. So all together the water was about 2.2 liters of water okay so you just go ahead and you stir your pot to make sure everything is mixed well and um let me tell you that some people do add sugar at this point 
into their pot if you want to use sugar some people do add it at this point but for me i wouldn't prefer to add sugar at this point um i covered my pot and then i changed my mind because i i needed to add some honey i am using honey because honey is a healthier option if you have honey you use honey how much honey did you put into this pot sylvia i tell you i really don't know because i didn't measure i just poured the honey into the pot till my ancestors whispered sylvia it's okay stop so i stopped okay <laughs> so you can see i added some more water and i'm covering my pot i'm just going to cook it for about um 20 to 25 minutes on high okay to make sure yep so after about 20 25 minutes yeah i open my pot and this is it okay this is what you want this is what the zobo will look like so yes as i said earlier you can see i'm staring it to make sure i you know mix everything well um like i said earlier some people do add sugar at that point uh, you know that i told you about but i'll prefer to put the sugar if i was to put sugar in mine i would like to put it after i strain out the leaves and i you know it's just the juice so that you know the juice the leaves wouldn't take much of the um sugar because you're going to strain out the leaves and throw it away anyway so um yes that's what i will do so yes after 20 25 minutes our juice is ready so i'm just straining out these um leaves the pineapple uh the back of the pineapple and the orange I'm just straining out put it uh, like that use a strainer because uh when you pour it into a strainer like this you know it's going to drain into that uh, bowl or container so yes and you pour it back into your pot because you need the juice that's what we are looking for the juice So yeah, remember when I said if I was to add sugar, I would add it here after straining out the leaves and then I'll cook it for about five minutes so that it can mix well, the sugar can mix well because you want it to be really sweet. If you put it with the leaves, the leaves is going to absorb the sugar and it won't be really sweet, you know, like you want it. So here I'm going to strain out my juice into a jug, you know, you, you can see that I put a strainer there on my jug and i pour it i was just being lazy guys i'm not gonna lie to you because the the the, the main thing the better process would have been to just scoop out this uh, drinks from this pot and pour it you know uh, gradually uh, into my into my jug to strain it out but i was just being lazy you now so i just poured it from the pot straight to the to the jug so and i had to make this mess you can see so to avoid making a mess i would advise that you use maybe a scooper or your bowl a little bowl and then you scoop it from the pot into your strainer your jug so that you don't make a mess you don't want to lose your drink guys this drink is so valuable you can see how red it is you can call it blood tonic blood tonic <laughs> So yeah, I had to throw away that chaff, you know, and then place my strainer again and then strain out the remaining drink in the in the pot. So this drink is very simple to make and it's very healthy. You can see the color. Ooh, looks like blood tonic. So guess what it's gonna do in your body? Ooh it's gonna do a lot of good in your body so yes and uh this summer this is good. this is one of my um favorite drinks for this summer it's on my menu list because 
and it's better you serve it chilled chilled but if you don't like it chilled that's okay but after straining it out like this make sure you put the drink in your fridge and let it cool cool off before you drink it you don't want to drink it like this otherwise you're gonna burn your intestine guys <laughs> so i don't recommend you drink it like this so. <laughs> so yeah all together here i have two liters of zobo drink two liters of zobo drink all together and how many days is this gonna last me so me my husband the kids this is gonna last me for about five days or less than that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah i put some eyes in my my mm, glass i'm just gonna do some testing guys i'm gonna test my drink <laughs> So I added some ice to make it chill and I added the double drink and yeah, I am having a good time. Thank you guys for watching.